The quantum language is just a different vocabulary for describing biblical truth. The quantum world is the kingdom of God because historic science, Newtonian science teaches us that the universe is mostly empty space. But quantum science came along uh, at the beginning of the 20th century and began to make it very clear that there is no such thing as empty space. But that between those things that we have thought stood alone inside space, rather than emptiness, there is an energy that fills all things and it is a pulsating, powerful, intense energy. Science now tells us that it is that energy that gave rise to everything that is material. In other words, that energy that we cannot see but we know is there created all things that exist. And in fact, it is by that energy that everything material holds together. That sounds a lot like a Bible verse I know. There is no separation of things in the universe. Everything is joined together inside this, what one of the pioneers of quantum science called energy of a more subtle source. Well, you might say it like this, as Paul did, in him we live and move and have our being. It's been called a lot of different things. Uh, Max Planck, one of the early pioneers, if not the founder of quantum mechanics, called it the matrix. In fact, the movie was taken from Max Planck's writings about the matrix. Others have called it the field. Some have called it the unified field. Some have called it source. Some have called it the universe. Jesus called it the kingdom of God. Paul referred to it as in Christ. It doesn't matter what you call it. What we're talking about is this all pervasive, ubiquitous presence of divine love that fills everything and inside which everything exists. It's Christ, it's the matrix, it's the quantum world, it's the kingdom of God, it's all the same thing. So I think that the quantum science of today is almost like science has been born again. People who still believe in the old Darwinian, Newtonian science that teaches separation and distance, they need to wake up and smell the coffee because science has grown up and modern science, whereas has joined hands with our faith. Whereas when I was a child, you had to decide it's either going to be Charles Darwin or Jesus Christ because they were, they were not compatible. But now the science of today we know is completely compatible with our faith. And the more I study and learn about quantum science, the more I realize that it is a testament to the goodness and the love of God. It's just speaking a different language that sometimes people outside the church world who insist on biblical language aren't able to hear, but a lot of folks are able to hear it. And so much, in fact, that I think that the quantum vocabulary may be the way that we can evangelize people who never have any intention of setting foot in church.